Welcome back to our playthrough of Primordia. Uh, we had just gotten back into the ship and we're trying to figure out how to get into the damn thing. So, continue from here. Alright. Now... I can't pick that up. Yeah, I know. You just uh, didn't just come down here for that damn book. Um... Maybe we can use uh, the Crispin for something. No, I don't think... Sheets. I still don't see why I don't get a bed. What do you think, Crispin? Boss, instead of digging through junk for hidden parts, why don't we dig through the unique for hidden tools? Exactly what tool did you have in mind? The plasma torch, boss. I'm sure we could find it if we looked hard enough. I'm sure we could, since all I did was slide it somewhere down where you can't reach it. If I can't reach it, why don't you tell me where it is? No. My right, plasma torch, that's gonna... That's gonna be helpful. We can end up, uh, cutting through a door. Vent. Or, um, maybe we can try one of these... So that's where you keep it. Why were you looking for my plasma torch? No reason. Son of a bitch. Alright. So, uh, let's try to cut through this door then. Get into the I'm damn I'm trying to fix the unique, not destroy it. Oh, come on! Can't we just cut, like, the lock a little bit? Um... F you, bed. F you. <laughs> That's all I can say. I think I looked at that earlier and I wasn't doing shit. Um... Only I didn't see the moon before. Left before the moon wanes entirely. Well, I'm glad we're not the only ones running out of power. Alright, so let's go back and see if we can, um, cut that train door open. Where's the map here? Let's go back to that junkyard. Oh, yeah, we can try it on that lockbox, too. Let's see if this works. There we go. Is that a spark plug, boss? Who locks up a spark plug? Er, actually, I think that box was some kind of machine. You killed it! Recycled it. Look at the bright side of things, Crispin. Don't be a sassy little bitch. It's a reinforced steel. Oh, come on. It's a freaking plasma torch. You tell me those windows are reinforced? It's bullshit. Well, that's just a spark plug, though. What do we have that's gonna connect... ...connect our, um, conduits together? Uh, Alright, let's just put this freaking spark plug in there. Can we use that putty on the hose? I don't know if that has to do anything right now, but... ...maybe it'll help. As much as I'd love to fix that leak someday, we have more important things to do. Plus, it would be a waste of the putty. Yeah, fine. Alright, uh, so we have a spark plug. I'm gonna try to put that in our generator here. Alright, that looks good. Looks good. And I think we need to put these together. until they're locked together. Locked together? Can I just screw them together? I don't think we can use Not the putty. Not a bad idea, but it can't carry enough of a charge, and it isn't sticky enough to hold them in place. Fuel. We weld them. We weld them together. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Robots wow, fixing robots. Than I thought it would be. Oh, generators. I won't leave it running until I can connect it to the unique. Oh yeah, we have to fucking plug it in, don't we? I was like, there we go. We made the cable, right? All right, does this look? Uh, it looks like it connects. Oh, something! There we go. There we go. Got power. All right, so we'll climb up this ladder and head into the ship. 
I thought we were in trouble when Big Ugly stole our core. But just like that, problem solved. The problem is not solved. Well, I agree. The noise leaves something to be desired. This is an emergency generator, Crispin. Well, it was an emergency. I want to run what it runs on. It only runs for a few days, if that. Oh. Like gas? Shit, biodiesel? Well, what the hell? Do we have another one? There's like no plants no. out here. Which means it still is an emergency. Well, in that case, first tits on the recharge station. We need to get some solar panels all up in this bitch. Oh, there we go. We're inside. Do, 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 do. So, what's the plan, boss? We need to recover our power core. Or we could just take the train to Metropole and live in luxury. First of all, there is no train to Metropole. And second, even with full charges, we can't just walk there. But more importantly, I hate that city. It's in my core logic. I don't know why, but I can't change it. Okay, okay. In that case, can't you just make us a new power core? Yes, but I oh, need okay. some kind of strong energy source for that. And you just make one of those too? I'm just asking. No, but somewhere around here are the plans for an energy sensor. That's awfully convenient. I designed it a long time ago, before I made you. I even found a sodium iodide crystal to use in a sensor, though man alone knows where it's buried now. All right. What we need is some sort of lightning rod to channel a bolt of electricity into the flux capacitor generating 1.21 gigawatts. There we go. But f for real though, that Metropole sounds really creepy. The man's really dirty for a robot. Um. So yeah, let's Boss, check in here. Oh come on. All those books piled up like that? For real. They catch fire. Cause we're in a shitty spaceship that's all. Jerry rigged? Alright, just use the door then. I bet I can find a better use for this plug. But now we can't listen to the sweet voice of Metropole. I guess that makes two birds. Yeah, that Metropole place sounds a lot like the uh, the place like you're supposed to head when all the zombies are like, there's no zombies here, and then you get there, and then you're just ambushed and your shit's taken. That's a phonograph. Yeah, let's listen to that for a while. Uh, so we have a cradle here. There's nothing I can do with it until I have some kind of power source. So that's where the uh, gym locker took our shit. LCD? What the hell's that for? A Quentin Questron LCD monitor. Ooh, spiffy. It's Crispin's to-do list. Funny how it never gets any shorter. That's your fault, boss. Not mine. Alright, that's starting to actually bother me. There we go. Oh, blueprint! <laughs> The original designs for Crispin. Hey, there are arms here! An awesome set of tractor treads! I went with a maglev unit instead, and I never could find good arms. You should kiss my ass for giving you a contragravity unit! It's sweet! There's the design. I'll put the keynotes into my data pouch. How does it even work? The crystal pulses when it absorbs energy. The cable carries the pulse to the computer. The computer decodes the information and displays it on the monitor. Uh, boss, where are we going to find a working computer? The unique is full of them. You're, oh. You're what? both fully aware robots! The energy Plug it into the back of your head! iodide crystal connected to a cable, which in turn needs to be connected to a CPU and a monitor. Don't you have some sort of USB 15 jack or something? You are some shitty low jacking like freaking robots. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't even have a freaking data port. What the hell's wrong? Socket. Uh, we've got a data cable. Data cable. Data cable. I can't plug this in here. Can't plug that in there. I can't plug this in here. Well, what the? F what are you gonna do? 
plug? It fits, but there's no point unless I connect the plug to something else first. There we go. Futile. What? That's never going to work. You rat thing! You said the plug. Oh. Computer interface with a socket for connecting external hardware. External hardware. Um. The monitor is designed to socket directly into a CPU. You are a CPU, you son of a bitch! Um, damn it. But even... The cable's far too long to be useful. Oh, fine. Just go farther into the ship. Get me out of this. There's Footlocker Jones. Totally cut a hole through our thing there. Oh, this is the outside. Um, where the hell are we going to find a CPU? Crispin, tell me! How do you lose a crystal, boss? If I had one, I'd oh, yeah, the crystal. Head. That's why I put it somewhere you wouldn't find it. You can't hide something shiny forever. Where the hell would he hide it? Papers, papers. Just some reminders I left to myself. Oh, you bastard. Where are you even getting paper from? I didn't see any trees outside. This is some water world bullshit. I'm gonna trade some papers for a small child. It just got dark in here, folks. It just got dark. Water world. A strange movie. Kevin Costner drinks his own pee. Uh, I've machine. Never been able to figure uh, it out. Uh, okay. We're fine on energy okay. for now. Crispin, why is your diary still scattered all over the floor? Are you going to keep nagging me until we run out of power, boss? Yes. Why do you people need notes? Don't you have a freaking hard memory? You're freaking robots! Why are you acting so human-like? Are you are you just dicking with me? I swear you guys are brains in a jar or some shit. I forgot where my car keys are. Well, you're freaking robot! You should know where the hell your car key is. It under the bed again. I still don't see why I don't get a bed. I don't see why he has a bed. Bottom to rest on. Looking at my bottom, are you, boss? Why the hell does he even need to lay down? Sheep men. I can't pick that up. Then why is it here? Looked in ventilation shafts. Oh come on! I look. Uh, ah, I suppose I wasn't looking for it earlier. Right under our noses. That is, if we had noses. Well, you apparently have bad memories. So I don't see what being a robot's gonna be, uh... What kind of benefits you have. You have to take notes. You forget where you put shit. You don't have low-light vision. What the fudge! How from fairness, given that there's no vegetation, I definitely wouldn't want to be limited to water and plant matter intake. That would be pretty harsh for the few days I survive. Um, alright, so we have that freaking crystal. What do we. Is the crystal the CPU? I need something to hold it in place to carry the charge. Putty? Are you really oh! To give us an that is ghetto. That is so garbage. ghetto. Crispin, I built you from a bunch of garbage. From spare parts, boss. Spare parts. I really like that Crispin individual. It's like I programmed him myself to be bitchy and sarcastic. The cable's far too long to be useful. How would that even work? Come on! What the, what the fudge am I supposed to use it for? How would that even work? Oh, I hate you guys. The sodium iodide crystal is stuck in the conductive putty. Okay. The sodium iodide crystal is stuck in the conductive putty. Well, then what do I do with that? What, what do I do with that, folks? What do I do with that? Do I charge it? Do I charge my laser? I'm gonna charge my laser. Futile. Oh, come on. That's never going to work. What do you think, Crispin? 
I'm pretty sure I saw another conduit at the junk pile when I was poking around there the other day. Do we need another conduit? Boss, did you ever consider that sometimes I just run out of clever ideas? Sorry, boss. I've got sand in my audio receptors. I'll let you know when it's out. Yeah, you suck, Crispin. But I love you. What the fudge rucker is this? The original just. So I need an interface. Um, the sodium iodide crystal is stuck in the conductive putty. Do I put that in the cradle? Does that go in the cradle? Futile. No, that doesn't go Feudal. in the cradle. I need a CPU because apparently in this world of sentient robots we don't have a central processing unit. You bastards. Is it okay if I sleep in the cradle until we have a new power core? No. Huh. There's a beam. I, I can't pick that up. Oh, there we go. There's something. Well, it's not freaking CPU. Well, I suppose we can just pick this up then get um, head back into the other. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Get it together, man! Wow. That could be anywhere now. Power core and now a rag. This is not your day. Where do we find a central processor? A Quentin Questron LCD monitor. Is that just a monitor? It's a cable. The Can monitor is designed to socket directly into a CPU. So I need to find a CPU. The sodium iod. That's never. All right, so we're on the quest for a CPU of some kind. Can we use Crispin? Can we plug it into Crispin? I'm bitching that he's a robot, but... Very funny, boss. Oh, come on, Crispin. Don't be a little bitch like that. Use a long data cable on you? Very funny, boss. All right, fine. Be that way. Maybe something fell at the back. I don't think that would be wise. Alright, so we have our hatch heading outside. <laughs> I'm trying my damnedest not to have a fast forward montage at some point where I spend four hours looking for a damn CPU that's right away. Like right immediately visible. Crispin's not giving us any ideas here. I keep trying to click the ceiling and that menu pops down. Well, there was a broken robot, wasn't there? Yes, I say that, but I have two freaking functional robots right here. Let's look around. Maybe there'll be something that pops up that didn't show up before. Does this thing work now? Um, nine, six, seven, three, alright. Tommy Two-Tone. Is there a ladder over here? Large lantern. I don't see anything else that I'm immediately aware of. Um... The generator's doing fine. Oh yeah, is this where that area was again? Um. <laughs> we found the rag! Now all of our freaking plans are complete, I suppose. That we have a freaking rag. Be just as easy. I doubt it. Nothing worth salvaging. Yeah. Because robots don't have CPUs, right? Hate you guys. I can't move this without some kind of crane, which I certainly don't have time to build now. Where do we get the CPU? Crispin, tell me. Well, you've got all the parts except the computer stuff. Maybe you should start putting the sensor together. 
<laughs> I hate you, Crispin. How do I put the sensor together? The cable's far too long to be... The cable's far... How would that even... I don't know how it would work. That's never go... The cable's far... How would that even... Oh, alright, let's head freaking up back up there. We have everything but the computer stuff. Why don't we try putting the computer or the sensor together? <sighs> because I don't, I don't know how to put it together, Crispin. I don't have a good memory as a robot. <laughs> All right, so here's the damn interface. What can we use on this thing? Can we use this weird gumball it needs thing. Needs a plug. It needs a plug. I hope I didn't screw myself by putting the plug on here. Plug on one end. That's never going to a simple computer. <sighs> Can't can I attach the? I doubt that will. All right, can you use that one? A rag. Let's try a friggin' rag. That's never going. A simple computer interface with a socket for connecting external hard. Well, that data cable doesn't seem to work. How can we put it together? Can we use a plasma torch on? There's no reason to cut that. Or, there's no reason. Let's cut a little cable off. Oh, there we go! I didn't know! <laughs> it's too long! Friggin' nah. The monitor is designed to socket directly into a CPU. Well, it just goes to show. Garbage in, greatness out. I need to plug them into a computer. Well, I don't know what the hell to do. Well, those are three digits of numbers. Is that... 652-817-608. These numbers we're supposed to look for? Sensor parts. Maybe I can find some other use for these. Should that be where we're looking with the telescope? Universal socket for plugging in peripheral hardware. A simple computer interface with a socket. Alright, uh, 652 Now we just need to check out these coordinates. Yeah, there well, we go. You just tell me we don't have enough power to go walking all over the dunes? No. Freaking telescope! Couldn't walk to Metropole. Telescope anyway, upstairs! Are close by. But what if it's picking up, no, oh, I don't know, a radioactive rust monster? A what? Or a giant cannibal robot? There's no such thing. Or an unexploded bomb? I highly doubt that. Or a giant lightning storm? Okay. That's where right. we get the power, Crispin. We know what's out there before we take off. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Why is nothing easy? I can think of one reason. And didn't you say that you were a giant ex unexploded bomb? Earlier? Oh, shit. Yeah, there we go. Getting used to the ship layout. Uh, we got a ladder over here or something. So it's on six five two. How do I enter? Nothing but radioactive waste. We can't salvage anything from that. All right. Eight one seven. Um, boss, that looks like a giant cannibal robot to me. It looks promising, is what it looks like. And with that, poor doomed Horatio stuck his head into the giant's mouth. There we go, giant robot. Uh, let's check out that other one, right? 608. That's strange. The sensor detected an energy source in the junk pile. Maybe we should go look more carefully. <sighs> what were the other ones? I totally forgot. Crispin was talking. I forgot what happened.
All right, we got those. Uh, six seven one two one two one five nine. Six seven one two one two one five nine. Did I say six seven two? Six seven one. I'm sure I'll totally remember that. Oh, I forgot that I can go the other way. Bum, bum, bum. All right, let's go up this ladder. Six, seven, one. More waste. More well, waste. you're the one who loves the junk pile. Scrap isn't waste. If you say so, Bob. Okay. Do one do. It's pitch black. Uh, boss, that's because the telescope's pointing straight down at the deck. Oh. <laughs> yup. some kind of odd device surrounded by glass. Whatever oh. that machine is, it must be throwing off some kind of energy. Hmm. Why do I not like the sound of this? Awesome. Awesome dowsome. Alright. Uh, let's see how long this is currently. We'll save it. List it as second save. Don't want you guys to have to digest four hours of video at one time if I get caught away. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments about the video or what you may want to see on the channel in the future, please leave us a comment below. And if you would like to see more of our future videos, feel free to subscribe.